today's session. In this session, we are going to discuss about food chain and food web. This is part of our ecology series, so let's get started. If you can recollect from the last session, we had discussed about different trophic levels and energy flow within the ecosystem. Trophic levels are nothing but nutritional levels. In an ecosystem, there are different kinds of trophic levels, like there are autotrophs, that are plants, and there are herbivores, carnivores, which are animals. So these different kinds of trophic levels have to interact amongst themselves in order to facilitate the flow of energy within the ecosystem. So these interactions between different trophic levels can be of three types that are the food chains, food web and the ecological pyramids. Now let us look at each of them in detail. Now let's look at food chain. Organisms in an ecosystem are related to each other through feeding mechanisms. One organism becomes food for the other. A sequence of organisms that feed on one another form a food chain. A food chain starts with producers and ends with top carnivores. Now let us look at one such food chain. In this food chain, the primary producer or the grass is making its food using the incoming solar radiation by a process called photosynthesis. This becomes the food for the primary consumer which in this case is a grasshopper which is fed by a frog which is the secondary consumer which is again fed upon by a snake and the snake is fed upon by a hawk and finally the hawk's body after decomposition is fed upon by a decomposer organism called the fungi. So this is an example of a food chain. In nature two main types of food chains are found. One is a grazing food chain and the other is a detritus food chain and again the grazing food chain has two branches, one is the terrestrial food chain and the other is an aquatic food chain. The example for a terrestrial food chain includes bunch grass which is eaten by a grasshopper which is eaten by a spotted frog which is ultimately eaten by a red tailed hawk and in the aquatic food chain the example is a phytoplankton which is eaten by zooplankton which is consumed by crab and ultimately the crab is consumed by a sea otter. Coming to detritus food chain, the food chain starts from dead organic matter of decaying animals and plant bodies to microorganisms and then to detritus feeding organism called detrivores or decomposers and then to other predators. This is an example of a detritus food chain. The difference between a grazing food chain and detritus food chain is the source of energy for the first level consumers. Now let us look at a food web. See, a food chain is simple and shows an isolated relationship. See, like we had discussed earlier, it is a unidirectional relationship where there is a single arrow connecting all the different trophic levels. But a food web is a little more complicated, okay? An ecosystem has interrelated food chains. It can't be that simple. The relationships in ecosystem cannot be that simple like in case of a food chain. They are more complicated. That is what the food web is going to show you. Same food is part of more than one food chain. For example, in this case, the mouse, okay? It is part of, it is eaten by both owl and snake, all right? So it is a little more complex relationship. All possible energy and nutrient transfers are shown in this food web. The main point here is all possible energy and nutrient transfers, okay? Food chain will only show you one possibility. But the food web will show you all possible energy and nutrient transfers. It is an interconnected network of feeding relationships. Like you can see in this diagram, it is a network. It is not just a single line, but it is a network of all the feeding relationships in an ecosystem. With this, we have come to the end of today's session. We will discuss ecological pyramids in the next session. Here we have mentioned a model question. Please look into it. So see you in the next session. Thank you.